Hey, what's up, guys? It's the Founder 87 right here, and I, yeah, I know I haven't done a video for like two or three weeks weeks now, because uh, nobody cares anyway. No, that's not. Yeah, nobody cares. So yeah, here I'll be today. I'll be reviewing a figure, Quinlan Boss from the Vin Star Wars: The Phantom Menace Vintage Collection, 2012 Vintage Collection. You can see the new packaging right there, never before seen. With the figure right there, and yep, and ooh, uh, I will be able to make like a video for next week and the next next and the week after that because um there's a lot of we'll be doing tests in school, you know the little student stuff like hard important tests so yeah I'll be just studying for yeah so I won't be able to make a video. Cross fingers though, I might be, yeah, if I get a free time, I'll be making a video. So, now on to the review for Quinlan Boss right there, the figure. And, let's start. Closing, 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 ah! Okay, now for the review uh, for Quinlan Boss right there, the figure and the packaging. But, yeah, first the packaging, we'll review the packaging. And, it's right there, the vintage, like, two, the fa Star Wars The Phantom Menace. 2012 vintage collection packaging right there. Quinlan Voss, new figure never before seen in the vintage collection. I think I'm guessing. I don't know. I'm not so sure, but yeah, that's my guess. Right there, you can see an awesome art picture of Quinlan Voss, which doesn't really. Yeah, I'll compare Quinlan Voss from the picture, the guy from the picture, and Quinlan Voss, the the figure. Here's the comparison. So here's for the comparison of Quinlan Voss, the action figure, and the Quinlan Voss in the picture of the packaging. Okay, let's start. Okay, first is right there. You can see him wearing a black robe in the picture, in the packaging picture. While on the left side is the figure wearing a brown robe, which is not really, we're not sure. The picture might be just like some weird effect or something like that. But yeah. And here's one more thing. Look at his facial painting, the face painting, yeah, whatever. Uh, this like um the picture of the packaging, just like just a random boring straight line. While in the figure, there's like curves, and he has two more lines in his forehead. And yeah, those that that's the only two, I guess. Yeah, but here's something that Quinlan Voss is a figure in the act and the guy in the picture. He has the ponytail. They both have the ponytail. Next is they they're both wearing the same shoe or boots, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, pretty much in the brown pants, I'm guessing. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, back to the review on the packaging. Okay, this guy right here, we got Darth Maul. With a, you can win a life-size Darth Maul right there. Signed by George Lucas. The, this is the like, life-size Darth Maul. Looks like this. Yeah, I know, right? It's, yeah. Uh, who doesn't want to win that? But the creepy thing is, if you have it in your room, and it's, like, dark at night, it doesn't really look awesome. It looks creepy and, yeah, scary. Okay. And you can see right here, I don't really like the new back part of the vintage collection. Just new waves. Not like the la last... 2011's and the past vintage vintage packaging has like the, the history of the figure. Just like an example. Wait, I'm, let me get some examples. Wait for a sec. Just like the Star Wars, um, this guy right here, Sand Trooper. Um, this is the background 2011 vintage figures. It has like the history or the past packagings of the figure, the original one. You can see right there, 1995 to 1998, some um, sand trooper right there, which is cool. But the 2012 ones aren't re really that impressive. You can see just the waves and what the next figure. Not bad though. You can see what figures you haven't gotten yet, and yeah. But I preferred preferred this one with the some um, info and yeah and stuff like that. But yeah, look at this. You can see, still see the waves, waves and the figures that we haven't gotten yet. But still, I want this. I prefer this one. 
Okay, back to the review. Um, yeah, are we done with the? Uh, yeah. Oh yeah, and the uh, entry for this one. I have a text message. Wait a sec. Let me turn this off. Okay, back here. Um, yeah, you get to win a Darth Maul statue signed by George Lucas. And yeah, right there. Here, the entry looks like this. Yeah, I don't have my entry anymore because I already sent it. I hope I win. Yeah, something like that. I hope I win. Okay, now the whole thing is over. Uh, the whole packaging review. Now onto the figure itself. Itself. Let me fix my tripod. Put it down. So you can see the figure very well. Okay, now let's review it. First, the paint jobs, really cool paint jobs. You know, uh, can see right there the, his brown robe, his the gold parts right there, buttons, belt, different brown for yeah. So you can see his belt, really cool, and some gloves like in his hand, glove like thing in his hand. I don't know. And yep, and he includes the uh, remove removable parts. Which is a lightsaber, of course, right there. His own lightsaber. And I got some removable parts too, and his packaging are left it here. Stay right there. Yeah, these guys, I left it here. Here's an, an unignited li lightsaber. Right there. It fits, it fits perfectly in this peg hole right here. Really perfect. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm not going to remove it from the packaging. And right there, a blaster, an unseen original bla Quillen Boss um, blaster. I've never seen this before. Really impressive, right there. I'm not gonna remove that, but yeah, the lightsaber, unignited lightsaber, and this blaster fits perfectly in his belt and the blaster holder. Or yes, anything you what you want, anything you want to call it. Okay, now on to, yeah, he has soft goods right here, in his, around his waist, or yeah, thigh, right there, and yeah, let's now go to the articulation, articulation, he got ball jointed neck, but that got ruined by his weird rocker, like, girly, hobo, like, hair, that, so yeah, the ball joint and neck got ruined by his weird hair, but not bad though, not bad. You could still go up, look down, circles, that would creep people out like always, and yeah, okay, he got ball joint and neck, ball joint and shoulders, elbows, swivel wrist, swivel waist, a ball joint and leg, which I'm not going to do, I don't want to ruin the soft good. Ball jointed knees and ball jointed ankles. Right there, really, like, super articulated figure right there. That's pretty much the whole articulation. I hope I didn't miss anything. So, yeah, this is the whole Quinlan Voss figure. This is a recommended figure if a big Star Wars Jedi fan if you like collecting Jedi, Jedi figures, so, yeah, here's the whole review for, here's my whole review for Quinlan Voss, I hope you liked it, and don't forget to rate and subscribe, thank you, bye.